Welcome to Inside the Ivy on Sports Report Radio on the phone. Chicago Cubs, guy in the organization, fantastic prospect, 2019 Midwest League champion, Cole Roeder. Cole, welcome to Inside the Ivy. Thank you so much for having me, man. I appreciate it. Hey, Cole, what's it like for you? I mean, you've been in the Cubs organization a little bit over a year now, maybe a year and a half with um, everything going on. What's it like for you to put on that Cubs jersey and think, man, I'm a member of the Chicago Cubs? You know, it's a dream come true. You know, every every time I get to think about putting on that jer- that uniform or, you know, physically get to put on the uniform, I have a smile on my face. Um, this is a dream come true to me. You know, this is something I've wanted to live my whole life. So now that I'm living it, you know, I'm living a kid's dream and I couldn't be happier with my life. Hey, Cole, kind of uncertain times going on in, in our country right now. I mean, spring training going on, you know, in March. Sports basically has been stopped now for almost four months. What have you been doing to keep yourself fresh? Because at any time, we know minor league baseball, you know, was unfortunately canceled. But at any time, you could be added to the, you know, the taxi squad. I mean, anything could happen. What, what are you doing to stay fresh for yourself? Uh, right now, I'm working at a place called Fisher Institute. Uh, I train there a few, ta- few times a week, do total body lifts, my mobility, my flexibility, and my rehab if I need to. Um, other than that, I'm hitting three, four times a week, trying to stay on my A game and, you know, just trying to stay ready, trying to stay busy in this very uncertain time where it's, it's very common to get stagnant and to get very, you know, lazy and, you know, complacent. So as of right now, I'm just trying to stay active with my friends and, you know, trying to stay very, you know, stay socially distant to stay very healthy, stay safe, but definitely trying to get my work in whenever I can. Hey, Cole, Midwest League champion. I mean, you won, you won a championship essentially at South Bend. What was that like to experience winning a championship? Because at the end of the day, winning, winning in baseball and winning in sports is about winning championships. What was it like for you to win that championship early on in your career? Winning... Early on in my career with the South Bend Cubs last year, it was unlike anything I had ever conquered in my life. You know, there's always those monsters in a season where, you know, you got to beat them to go on, da, 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 this and that. But, you know, winning with those guys and that team, the team I had grinded with for seven, eight months, lived together, you know, very tight quarters, the minor league, you know, the minor league life. Um, it was It was sensational. Being able to win that with those guys and celebrate, you know, with my new family, it was it was beautiful. You know, I, there's moments where I'll have dreams about that, you know, that last pitch and Riley Thompson is absolutely shoving it for a sixth inning. So it, it was beautiful. And it's one of those moments that I'll never forget and I'll cherish for the rest of my life. Hey, Cole, let's talk about your first spring training. Um, that let's talk about you know the success you had in spring training early on. Um, we're going to talk about your home run now. What was it like for you? I mean, you know, it was a you know the night. What was it like for you to hit that home run during spring training to kind of get recognized right out of the right out of the shoot with the Cubs? Oh, let me tell you, this that moment is burned in my memory and and so burned in time for me. Um, it was the craziest moment I ever called my parents because it was the first day I ever got called up. And I was like, oh, yeah, like, I don't expect to play. I'm just going out there. I'm just trying to have a good time, you know, it, you know, just engage with the other guys in the big leaguers and all that stuff. And I remember my mom specifically saying, because she tells you this all the time, she specifically said, she goes, Cole, we're going to come down there. Even if you don't play, we're still, we just want to be there to see you in the big league dugout. And I said, mom, Please don't waste your money. There's no need. I don't think I'm going to play. <laughs> so after, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's still she's still on my case about that. Let me tell you. Uh, so having that moment, getting up in the box and you know, letting it fly and <laughs> get, hitting that my first AB. Uh, I don't remember much after that. I don't remember. Well, to be real with you, I don't really, I remember the swing and then I remember stepping on or coming into the dugout and being like, holy crap. Um, I I don't remember very much else. Uh, I blacked out running around the bases. Uh, it happens to a lot of athletes. But yeah, I, I couldn't tell you, you know, where the ball went, how far it went, how fast it went around the bases, or anything else other than you know walking back in that dugout and doing everything I could not to not to freak out like a little kid. But it was one of those memories where I have dreams about it all the time. You know that that moment, that feeling. 
you know, all of that is engraved in my head. It was, it was, it was so cool. Wow. Hey, let's talk about mom and dad. Where, where you, where'd you grow up, Cole? Where are you from? Uh, I grew up in Santa Clarita, California. Uh, it's a very, very big city now in California, in Southern California. Um, I moved my junior year in high school to a very small rural town called Acton, California. Uh, it's about 30 miles north of my hometown. Uh, so yeah, I grew up there, um, born and raised, and you know, it's, it's a, a little bit change of pace to where I live now, but I, I absolutely love where I live now, I live back in the country and in the mountains and have animals and property, but the life is uh, it's very pretty in California and I absolutely love it. Hey Cole, growing up, did you play baseball only? Did you do other sports? What were some of the things you enjoyed growing up doing as a kid? Uh, I was uh, I was the daredevil of the family. I definitely think I shaved off a few years of my parents' lives with all the stress <laughs> I caused them growing up. Um, I, I was as reckless as they came. Uh, my parents can definitely attest to that. Um, I was riding scooters and jumping off curbs as a kid. And, you know, growing up, I played every sport except for hockey. Um, I played, growing up, I played baseball, basketball, football, and soccer all at one time until I was probably... 10, 11 years old, I had to stop playing everything but football, and then I quit football when I was 14, so just to pursue baseball in high school, but up until that point, I played every sport, I was extremely active, and uh, I, was, uh, <laughs> I was a little bit of a tear for my parents, for sure. Oh gosh! Well, Cole, this was fun. I I look forward to keeping you know keeping up with your career. We kind of keep these things that you know under ten minutes, kind of little lifestyle stuff, talking about you know what what you enjoy in life, and we'll follow your career. And we look forward to following you as you you know you go around and go around the league and you know work your way up eventually to Wrigley Field. But I appreciate you, Cole, taking the time to talk to us here on Inside the Ivy and. You know, you're one of the good ones, and it's it's been very pleasurable talking to you. I appreciate it. My pleasure.